Good afternoon. I am here with uh, Barb Vogel. My name is Daniel Colvin, and I am the program director for the Ohio Art League. Um, I am sitting here in my uh, paper studio, and Barb is sitting in her studio at 55 Spring Street. And uh, we're just going to jump right into it and have a fun, laid-back conversation about whatever it is that Barb wants to talk about. <laughs> so, um, Barb. You, well, uh, um, you are really, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, how, how are you doing today? Let's start there. Well, I'm doing fine. It got clouded up, but I'm fine now. I, it's beautiful. It's always wonderful in the studio here. I've been here for about uh, three decades plus, and um, Marty Steffi is my studio mate, and Brooke Albrecht is my studio mate now. Um, Spring Street is one of the oldest studios um, in Columbus, and the late um, Denny Griffith, Rick Petrie, started it, and that was about 35 years ago. But um, anyway, I just come in here. It's been a home away from home. It's it's actually a great working space. So that's it. Used to be um, Spring Street used to be. Um, when it, the building used to be a livery stable and it used to be an underground railroad headquarters. Um, and so there was a tunnel that ran from the state house to this place. And uh, it was kind of, it's kind of neat. Uh, the, the studio, oh, anyway, many moons ago, many moons ago, anyway. You're um, yeah. you're above the old uh, Cherry H. Coal building, right? Uh, mm -hmm. What, 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 right. what used to be the Cherry the Art Store there? Cherry H. Coal. I used to come here. I unfortunately, unfortunately, she moved. But um, Little Richard, we used to call him Little Richard and Sarah. They used to have. Um, uh, it was great just to go down and get. Um, get framing or get I, I thought that I would I, I thought I'd you know stop making stuff when they moved out I was I was so bereaved when they moved out but they I remember the first time I went into their store and I was I wanted to get some wheat paste to do a school project I mean not for with with kids and and um it took a, them a half hour to look up the number or the price of this wheat paste it was it was anyway they they were um they were interesting people um i miss sarah and, and little richard I, I really do but they would cut masks they would they had all this molding and sarah yeah, i remember that place it was still it was still open whenever i was at ccad i mean we would i mean there, there were some things they were great for and there were other things that you would have to go to uh, Dick Blick or Long's right. Bookstore, which which it's gone now too on on a, at over at Ohio State, but but yeah, it was a great yeah. little place, you know, close to campus that you could find things that sometimes you couldn't find at the uh, student store. So it was a, it was a fun Definitely. spot. They had press type, and I had to get press type once for a project, and you know, it, it was it was amazing what they had. It, they, anyway, it was fun. It was nice. They moved out about 10 years ago, so, you know. But, um, let's see, well, I, I made some notes for myself. Um, <laughs> well, while you look at your notes, I, I, I did have a follow-up question. I mean, that's a pretty big building. Is it just the three of you there, or is, is there, are there more studios? Yes. The, um, I share the front space with the North Light with uh, Marty Steffi and Brooke Albrecht. Um, there are a total of, well, nine people, nine in another long area. They're just kind of segmented studio spaces. On second floor, there's a real, real wonderful little uh, photographer uh, that has a, a, a studio space. Um, I'm trying to think of all the people that anyone daniel norton has a studio space here so that's cool yeah, yeah it, it's a, it's it's a big space it's a big space so nobody knows it exists but <laughs> that's that's probably good and bad about it yeah yeah so 
anyway, so um, yeah, coming into the studio, there's a poster and I, I wish I could show it to you without wobbling, but it's um, uh, um, celebrating the 100th year of the Ohio Art League, which um, I, was, I was really proud to be a part of that. Uh, Margo Crutchfield from the um, Contemporary Museum in Cleveland curated it or juried it or actually curated it. Um, she, um, I, there, I, I have a list of Sandy Aska was in it, Curtis Goldstein, Melissa Bogley Woods, A.J. Vandarelli, Ardeen Nelson, Morris Jackson. I mean, it was just a, a great group of people. They did a video of it and great uh, pamphlet. Uh, Mary Gray was in charge of the Rife at that time. It was a, it was a, they really made it a, a big event and it was very nice. So I was proud to be an OAL member, yeah. So what um, I work right now, well, my work has always been primarily alternative uh, photographic processes. Um, I used uh, for the, painting here or the picture here, I used a handheld wand scanner that I usually, um, I do portrait work, which I can scrunch down here. I can uh, portrait work um, and uh, I, I've done botanicals. Uh, so uh, that's with a handheld wand scanner, um, which I'll demonstrate in a few minutes here. Um, I also used, and I have some examples here. Um, I also used, uh, and uh, I I always do an eight by ten first, or an eight by eight of um, a, a portrait. Then I blow it up to twenty four by twenty four. What I do is I have this old film camera, an old Hasselblad, and I take a two and a quarter negative, and I scan it, and then I glue it to a board and then I coat it with encaustic. Um, and so I'm, I'm still doing um, a lot of portraiture. Um, let's see. Um, I do have a show um, at Sherry Gallery. I have some older worker work in, in there now. And she's going to have a gallery hop this Saturday. So I, I'll be a part of that. Um, Sherry, also, I'm going to be in the James Cancer Hospital um, October 8th through November 19th. And um, I, I used to work at the hospital. I, um, that show's going to be, uh, Melinda Rosenberg and I collaborated. She does these beautiful wood pieces. We collaborated, um, she incorporated some, I printed on wood and we collaborated and it's going, anyway. So that's one project that I've been working on. Um, I still have a dark room at home, so I print on wood. And um, so anyway. Um, so when I worked at the hospital, I knew, um, Dr. James, and Dr. James um, uh, was probably one of the most benevolent doctors I've met. So I'm kind of proud and happy that um, to be showing there. Uh, I have coming up um, in, in uh, September of 2021, um, the uh, a collaborative project or show with Eileen Woods. And um, that's for the Dublin Arts Council. So that's coming up. As we all have talked about, we, well, art, art, artists, I'm just happy that I am an artist. And during this pandemic, I've just, just been working and busy. So anyway, yeah. Um, hmm, let's see. Since well, let me tell you, Daniel is MIA. What the what? Well, oh, there he's coming on. <gasps> there he is. So I was kind of at living and I kind of got nervous about this thing because um, nobody's asking me questions. So I was dancing for a while. 
<laughs> so anyway, so, so, oh, I was going to, I just recently, and I, I, I wanted to mention this just because um, I just recently put up this little book. I, I just, it just came in the, uh, um, Brooke happened to take my picture here for it. But I documented so many artists through, you know, for the past 20 years. Um, some I've kept their negative, some I can't find, but those that I could find, I, I scanned them and put, put a, a booklet together. Then I also have an installation that I made of all these deceased artists. And this is gonna be a part of the bright side, which um, Eileen Woods and I are working on. Um, one thing, um, my friend Eggleg Gatons, who uh, my friend and studio made across the way, she um, does one of those fake book challenges where you post so many pictures. Anyway, she wanted me to post, and I thought, oh, I don't want to post all my work over, blah, blah, blah. But I was, you know, that's what kind of got me started. I was thinking I, I've been really kind of blessed to know all these artists and take all these pictures. And um, one thing I, I know was the, uh, and I worked with Kojo um, for about 15 years, but one thing I know is that the east side of Columbus was really, you know, you have William Hawkins, uh, uh, Mary Merrill, Elijah Pierce, you have Amina, you have, it was a hub of artistic talent that we're, we're uh, benefiting from. And, uh, and um, so anyway, I, I realized then that I, I have photographed Barbara Schaefus, who's a wonderful artist. Uh, anyway, there's all these black, wonderful artists on the Near East side that really have influenced us. And so Columbus is, um, uh, I, I see an academic like Ann Hamilton and that type of person, and you have though this this wonderful Near East Side neighborhood um, artists that have contributed so much to our vocabulary. So anyway, but is, I, what? well, as we say, Columbus is fantastic that way. The way that it's I a know. Melting pot of different, not but not only different educational levels as far as like self-taught versus, um, you know, university or, or or like technical education, you know, and then and then also just you know just a huge diversity of um, just a, a a deep bench, a deep culture of you know Columbus artists that are just you know really well known in in, in their own. Right. Yeah, I, I agree. I mean, I didn't really realize until I was reflecting. I mean, this was a pandemic reflection in a way. But, oh, I have Reverend St. Patrick Clay who used to make cactuses. And um, Mary Merrill was wonderful. Um, Levent Isaac, who I don't know whether he, anyway, Levent here, was he, he died um, last year. And he said that the reason he he stopped in Columbus was because he saw the William Hawkins show. I mean, not the latest one, but he saw the work of William Hawkins and said, I've got to live here. And so, I mean, so that's, you know, outside of the book, um, the, the, the production of the book, are you also giving um, these portraits the uh, same treatment that you do your other, like uh, uh, past portraits and bodies of work, like, you know, um, with, with, with the well, transfers I mean, and the I did, and, I worked and, and uh, not successfully, I have an installation of transfers onto ceramics of these past artists, and um, I um, I worked this this winter um, uh, in Florida, and I had somebody fire this. Stuff and they just you don't I had I ended up with two tiles that I made you know to it, that that's how unsuccessful it was <laughs> I had somebody else but but now I have a body of work and I'm I'm very happy um, uh, Julie Byrne and Marsha Armstrong both both 
fired um, some of my stuff for me and it was, I really appreciate them. But, but so yes, I have an installation that I'm going to be showing of uh, probably 20, 20 artists, including Denny Griffith and Barbara Schaefus, Amina, Kojo, of course, I work with. Um, um, oh, Vicki Blinn was a good friend of mine. I, I just, uh, common people too, like Mildred Slade was um, just, yeah, she, yeah. So anyway, so I, I think I hear Brooke coming in. I don't know whether she's, she said she was going to come in, but I, I'm going to pan the studio right now and, and, and um, um, Brooke may come in. I'm going to pan the studio so you can see how great the space is. Um, and, and you can see, you can't see my head right now. So um, I'm moving. I'm going to pan the studio so you can see the studio. That's, that's one thing about being stationary. You know, it's just very difficult. Okay. Oh, let me, let me, this is Spring Street. Okay. Oh, there's Brooke. Can you see Brooke? Look at there we go. Oh. Can you see yourself? Yeah. Can you see us? I'm just checking to make sure I didn't mute myself. Okay. I had to do a quick reshuffle myself because uh, uh, one of my studio partners came in and I, I didn't think she was coming in today. And, and I was, I had everything set up in front of her drying rack and she was like, um, can I get my paper? And I'm like, yes, I would give me just a second. <laughs> you need your dog. That's a great background behind you. Where, um, where are, are those woodcut prints or? Uh, paper, paper cuts. She's the closet. Oh, cutter. oh, this is Brooks' work. Okay, so you went over to Brooks' corner. Okay, gotcha. Right on. Those look almost like uh, block cuts from a distance. Yeah, they do. Yeah. She's represented by Sharon Weiss. Yeah. So. Oh, cool. And well, I mean, I actually, she makes these wonderful little books also. Yeah. Here's, I make little books that I uh, kind of record a daily journal for myself where I do drawing and stitching. Nice. So I do about every other day, I'll make one of these. Yeah. Nice. So what, uh, what style of binding are you using for those? Uh, some are Coptic and some are uh, accordion. It just depends on how many pages the book is. Sure, that makes sense. That makes sense. Here's a accordion. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, I can yeah. That's fun. Yeah. It, now is. Is that all uh, different shades of uh, red paper, or, um, or or is is some of that just paper that's been enhanced? Like, is it is it all collage, or is it all, or, or is, is it hand painted or hand dyed? Paper also, paper. yeah. Got you. Um, should I? Uh, no, I know Nikki's. Um, uh, should I scan you? Do, do you want me to show you how I scan? To show you how you scan? How, oh, this is what I do to scan. So I was going to scan Brooke. Not oh, sure. You, but you can see my process. So, oh, yeah, that would be that would be fantastic. Yeah. Anyway, this is how I did that, that flower over there and some portrait work. I think it's 
I've, I've dealt with portrait work a lot, but I, I enjoy, I plant flowers in my garden to scan. So anyway, Brooke, I'm going to scan her face, but you're not going to be able to see what comes out because I've got to download it. So, but so, so like, I, if I want to do a profile, so I just take this and I go like that. I used to not have the glass or the plexi or a flat surface, and I kept getting air masses it's because we're lumpy, we're lumpy mm. thing. Right. So, um, yeah. So, so now with that wand scanner, does that wirelessly transmit to a computer, or is there a, a thumb drive or, or, or a, a card in there that you have to pull out and put into something else to be able to... Small little media card, but gotcha. um, I just plug it into my computer and download the image, and then. Gotcha. Uh, but but um, I really kind of enjoy some of that. There's this ghosty quality. I really kind of like some of the imagery and some of the portraits that I've done. And uh, I'm so. But um, I guess. We should probably end, but um, one thing we wanted that both of us wanted to thank the Reese brothers. Thank um, you. And um, Sherry said it, and it made me thank Sherry from Sherry Gallery, Sherry Hawk. But she was saying how the Reese brothers really brought out um, a lot of artists in Columbus, and really, um, I, I, I really in. Enjoyed Columbus and seeing new artists and having them uh, uh, have get money for their art, but they've really they've really done a lot to contribute to the well-being of Columbus, like OIL has. So. I appreciate appreciate yeah. both. Well, we we appreciate having members like you, and we appreciate you know uh, all, all of our members, and uh, you know especially during you know, uh, this, the, these uh, unprecedented kind of challenging times of just trying to be an artist and stay creative and trying to find showing opportunities. And I know as the program director, it's, it's a challenging to try to continue to create opportunities, you know, like, like this and shows and everything else to, to help people feel relevant, to help us all continue to try to feel relevant. You know, it's, it's, it's tricky. It's tricky when you can't leave your house. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, it COVID has made it, has made it um, a sad for many. And, um, but, you know, I, I, I'm just happy that I, I could work my hands to get kind of help get through this time, but anyway, and have my studio. So. Right on. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. Welcome. Man. Is there no? You want? Is there anything else you guys wanted to uh, talk about? Anything else you wanted to throw out there? Any last parting words of wisdom? Uh, we didn't. We didn't think. We have our men. We didn't think about <laughs> any parting words of wisdom. We're not. We're not wise people. Man. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well. Thank you very much for your time. It was a pleasure to see your studio and to share um, the history of your space and talk a little bit about, you know, both y'all's work and have you, how you have everything set up over there. So I look forward to seeing it in person sometime. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you all. Bye-bye. Well, have a good day.